Hey guys, what's up? You guys up for an unboxing video? I got one of the cheapest guitars they sell on Amazon. Let's break this thing open and let's see what we got. Okay, so what we've got, we've got a Firefly guitar. And uh, you can get these things on Amazon, although they're kind of hard to get because they only make small runs of them. And then within a day or so, they've already sold out. But this is the Firefly. We've got a brand new cable with it. But at this price, it's almost unbelievable what a quality guitar you can get at about $140. Let me get this thing open. Let me kind of bring it over here. And let me show you this guitar and some of my first thoughts and some of my first impressions of this guitar. So it's kind of a Gibson-ish looking, you know, hollow body 335, maybe sort of like an Epiphone dot. It does have the nice block inlays on it. What an amazing color. That gold, it's got that nice sparkle on it. Yeah, just looking it over, it doesn't look too bad. You've got all the, uh, everything looks very Gibson-ish about it. You know, it is an imported guitar at 140 bucks. It's a set neck, it's got the binding all the way around it. And like I said, the block inlays. Seems like the nut is, is cut okay. Okay, I just want to kind of take a close look at this thing and um, see if we can find any type of finished flaws or anything about it. We're really going to critique this thing. Uh, it still has the plastic over the pick guard. Still has the plastic over the pickups. Um, if we get down here and look at this fretboard really good, I can see that it has what maybe is still buffing compound on there um, or the neck is really dry the headstock looks nice the firefly logo on there looks good I don't see any chips anywhere the only thing that I kind of see is maybe in the fretboard right here. It's either really dry or most likely it's just some of the buffing compound that they used are still in there. But yeah, the binding and everything looks really good on it. And um, not too bad. This thing at 140 bucks. It's really hard to beat this. Let me just... Um, let me just run my fingers across the fret ends a little bit and see what they feel like. You know, it's not horrible. I, I felt a lot worse. Here's the thing. The, um, the sides of the frets, I, I think it's called the cleat that comes down through here. And you can see that, but the binding is over... My camera will focus on that. Yeah, you don't even see the cleats on the side of the frets because the binding is over top of that. So that's part of the reason that that feels really good. So there's no fret sprout. And uh, running my hand over this, I have no fear of getting cut or anything. So yeah, this thing's looking great. Let's see what it sounds like. All right, guys, so here I'm setting with a $140 Firefly guitar out of Amazon. Now, the thing, this company makes different runs of this guitar, and they're very small runs. So this last run was five different colors, and with a total of 600 guitars, or approximately 600 guitars in total. And so this is one of the gold sort of... Uh, Sparkle Gold, and I've got it plugged into this um, twin reverb amp, and uh, we're going to listen to the um, neck pickup a little bit. Right here. Let's see what this thing 
sounds like a little bit. because of my neighbors and I would turn that reverb way down. And again, when you get a guitar fresh out of the box, at this price, these are the cheapest strings ever created for a guitar. That is my first guess. So these strings are complete crap and it's probably going to get hung up in the nut here for a while. So the first upgrade you do to a $140 guitar is you put a good five to ten dollar pack of strings on it, right? So your price just went up to $145. Because you, you need to have good strings on this. Oh, sure, sure. <laughs> right? Oh, sure. But again, here we are all the way up. Everything's at 10 and we're listening to this um, neck pickup. pickups and all the way down into the bridge position Again, as far as the fret ends, they all feel good. Um, the string height is kind of high. The neck looks relatively straight, although it does have some uh, relief in the neck. So you could probably tighten the truss rod a little tiny bit. But, um, this Firefly logo is, if, if I had a choice between this and, and an Epiphone dot, I, I would probably still go for the dot, but the dot is probably three times the price. But this, the gold, I have to say that their paint color on this looks awesome. And um, with all the controls right here, and, and it, you, you know, there's no access on the back to get to the controls here. So you have to kind of weed everything down through, weed everything. You have to get everything down through here. And that's probably going to be tough when, when it comes to, uh, if you want to put new pickups in and stuff, it might be challenging to, you know, upgrade things. If there was a big old cavity cover in the back, where you could get to the controls, that would be one thing. But they are sort of close right here. They're all kind of in the neighborhood, which is kind of close. I, I see some models like this where the selector switch is way up here in this corner. And that makes it really difficult to get to where you have to pull the pickups out and stuff. But um, I think, the again, the first upgrade I would do to these guitars is I would put a good quality set of strings on it. You know, this thing is nice. Mm -hmm. 